Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna show you how to make a 3D version of you. That's right, an STL file. So many videos out there with these action figures, but I was looking at them, but they're not really action figures. They're just pictures that are modified to look like the packaging of you. Well, in this video, we're gonna show you how to make an STL file and 3D print a version of you. So you get a full 360, and maybe if you have a multicolor printer, you'll be able to paint it however you want. Anyway, so without any further ado, come, let's get started. Let's see how you look in 3D. And then all you have to do is probably just, you could use the, uh, the AI to make your own packaging. So come. All right, so this is what we have here as our finished file, but you're wondering, how did we get this far? All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into chat GTP, right, and log in. As you can see, I'm already logged into my chat GTP, and you'll just take a picture of you, any picture of you, and it's really nice how it'll just automate and turn that um, into a character, or as they would say, action figure, right? So then when you're there, you, take, you type, make an action figure of the attached image. And then what'll happen is, it'll spit this out, it was kind of a cool picture of me. Look, the fence is there. It wiped me out, but it sort of made me into an action figure. Now you can have me at home for the, <laughs> and uh, I don't know, except the name of the sweater is a little bit different, but it looks pretty cool. It looks like my thin layer, right? And I would say I'd rate this image and give it a thumbs up. All right, and that's definitely what I was looking for. Now I tried to uh, type, turn this into an STL file, but that didn't work. So to turn it into an STL file, what you gotta do is just basically select the image, right? And then you can either drag and drop it or save it, right? Because it'll, it will allow you to save it. But in this case, to save it is right here. See, it says save, uh, or like I said before, boom, drag and drop it and put it on your desktop. In this case, I already have it, so I'm going to delete it. Now, once you have it, um, your saved STL file, or, or make that image that we want to convert into an STL file, what we're going to do is we're going to go into this website right here. As you see, the website is called meshi.ai. It's free. Uh, they'll give you 100 credits. So if you want to make one version of you, um, as you see, it only cost me 10 credits, but if you want to make more, you feel free to use up all your credits. And then when you're, when you're done, you know, you can, uh, uh, make, add some money to it, but most likely you probably would just want one version of yourself. Uh, otherwise, um, it'd be like little gremlins. So as you can see, what you'll do is see where the little upload button is. You go to upload and you drag your image there. Once you drag your image there, it's going to upload it and then convert it. Okay. And as you can see, it already converted this. See, look at that. And that's me. Kind of neat, huh? I look pretty cool. Now you see I have no legs, but it will generate four different versions of you. So you choose the one that you like. I chose the one, I believe, with no legs. I don't know, I like that one. But then as I look at the other ones closer, looks like this one's better. Looks like that one's better. And then you decide which version of you is the one you want. And then what you would do is you would just download it. So in this case, um, see, for Pro, uh, unlock other premium features, but in this case, I just wanted myself simplified. So you see right here, this little uh, menu with the three dots, click it. You can change the licensing, or what we'll do is we'll just select it. And then right from here, I chose this one, see? And then once you click it, a pop-up menu appears. And then what you will do is you will click um, uh, confirm, right? because we're gonna generate, and it's actually, we already have this one as an STL file. Let's try this one. And then we'll click confirm. It's gonna cost 10 credits, but they give you 100 free credits. So I'll be left, you know, with 70, but that's okay. I don't see myself generating myself into another STL file. So as you can see, it's generating. And then once it generates, it's at 10%. Uh, it'll take a little bit for it to work its magic. And see, look, I already used two. I got 70 credits. And like I said, it gives you free, 100 free credits. And that's enough to experiment with it to see if you like it. And who knows? Maybe there are other services out there too that will allow you to do the same thing for free. But we chose this one because it created an experience that's just right for you and matches everything else that's out there. Because as you can see here, look over that, a little version of me looks pretty good and I just can't wait to paint them. Like I said, if you have a multicolor printer, you could most likely um, work the magic 
that way too. But as you can see, we're still generating it. And while that's doing that, I'll show you how to set it up in the meantime. So what you'll do is you'll take that STL file, we're at 90%. Looks like I'm gonna have to speed this video up, um, 93%. Uh, anyway, you take that STL file, right? And you bring it into uh, your favorite slicer. In this case, I have it here. All right, so uh, let's see, we're gonna close this out. And there he is right there. See, there's me with no legs, but I chose another version too. Uh, we could leave the slicer settings. Uh, well, the glasses look a little bit weird, um, but we'll check him out and see how he looks in a little bit. Um, I chose no legs because I believe the original photo, I was just, uh, it was just me, as you can see, if we go back to here, right? If we go back, remember, because we logged in to chat G GTP and your library is saved there. So we can go to our library of creations. And as you can see, my two versions of me were created. But if we go back into here and it looks like it is done. So you see, it created this one, me with feet. And if I click here, um, I can select, let's see what we have here. Uh, select download, right? Or where's the STL feature? Ah, um, text to 3D, image to 3D, okay? That's the one, that's what you wanna do, okay? So you wanna make sure you have image to 3D selected, okay? And then we'll go here, and then we should be able to download it. Come on, download, baby. Let's see. Go here, remesh, animate, share, download. There it is right there. And then once you select download, the menu will appear. So we want FBX, OBJ, and then for me, I'm just gonna choose STL. I'm gonna download STL. Wait for it, see, there it is. I'm gonna lose my little STL file of me. All right, and then go here. I'm just gonna put it on the, uh, on the desktop. We'll put this here so we can just drag and drop it in. Uh, into uh, the Creality Slicer. And again, just in case you lost track of what we were doing, we're just gonna go back into the web browser version of me. See, we're here. Make sure you have um, image to 3D selected when you bring it in and drop it in, okay? And then after you drop it in, you can go to here. You know, you select download. Okay, well, we uploaded it, but you see the download menu is right here. See, seven left, and if we go here, you choose which one you want, see? Seven times, seven X or whatever. That's seven X is actually pretty big, but that's okay. You can always uh, downsize it in your slicer. So we downloaded it, okay? And then after we download it, let's click this one, me with feet. Of course, the settings will be there. Uh, probably be overridden or another version of me on top of me. Uh, let's see what we have here. Hey, that's not the one I selected, beach stroll. Preview. Looks like there's another one in there. This is with supports though. You actually want to put supports too. Let's close this one out and we'll just um, discard this one since we already have him saved. This is the one that should have downloaded. All right, so let's select and download again. Choose STL and download. There we go. And then we'll just open it. And object appears too large. That's okay. Well, it'll automatically, and then see, look at that. I'm too big. So we'll just delete the one below it. See, and it kept the settings with the supports. Wow, I'm really big there. So that's why I chose without legs. But you can scale it down, and to scale it down, you would just select it from here. Select the object of desire, go right here. I think I chose five, right? Five seemed really reasonable. And you wanna make sure you have uniform scaling selected. And then if we push enter, see, that looks like a nicer version of me. Um, let's zoom in on it a little bit to show you one more thing before we take them off the printer. We'll bring that in, shift and slide. Now you see my hands are there. We're not gonna be able to print in thin air. So that's why I have these supports here. For supports, you, so you, you touch right there. And I chose tree auto default. And I chose 10 as a threshold, right? And it says on build plate. Now, if you have other material that you want to have your um, supports printed in, see filament for support, you can choose which one you want. In this case, I'm not doing that because I'm just, I'm just going to slice it, set it, forget it. And then when you slice it, you will have a magical file. See, it'll hold up my chin, 
but this one doesn't hold up my glasses. So most likely I probably want to put 20, change it to 20. Okay. And let's see what 20 does. Press enter and let it slice again. No, it still doesn't hold my glasses. I need one that holds up my glasses. Uh, let's do, let's try three. Let's see what three does. And no. So let's try another number. Let's try 70. You have to play with the numbers and see which number works right for you for supports. Or maybe it just doesn't, you know, who knows, maybe the glasses will just print magically. Slice the bill plate and then preview it. Sometimes, oh, there we go. So play with the number, figure out what number works best for you. For this might be a little bit too much. Uh, let's see, fifth, let's try 40. You gotta play with it and figure out where it would be ideal to put supports and also know your printer. If you know your printer, then you know, you know like, oh, it'll work out. Oh no, it won't work out. Well, if you're printing with resin, as you can see, it's only holding up that half right there, but you get the idea. Now let's have a look and see what we get from the printer. So now you get an idea of how to set it, forget it, how to upload your image, how to download it, how to get that STL file to make things just right for you. All right, come, let's check it out. Oh man, looks like I might be better off without the glasses. Um, so again, know your printer. This is the first print, it took about an hour, but as you can see, I'm there, right? And looks pretty good. Um, looks like the glasses didn't really need supports, but that's okay. You know, might be able to print, 3D print newer glasses, right? And then just glue them on. Um, I'll just put this here. Don't want to ruin my plate. Move this keyboard out of the way so we can see. But the generation is actually pretty good. Uh, so, oh wow, so supports come right off. Jacket's not blue, but we could always paint it. Um, let's see, see my hands came out really good. And I don't think I had hands in the original picture. So this is just a 3D, um, like, like an AI, um, you know, trying to, my thumb looks like I tore off a little bit. Um, but that's really cool that AI was able to use its imagination and generate um, and sort of, uh, let's see, nice, okay. Oh, this is pretty good. So just be careful taking off the supports. Uh, and as you can see, we're almost there. Come on, you got this low. There we go. That, you know, a little bit of string there. Could have added more supports, as you can see. Remember, we didn't, you have to gauge where you think supports would be ideal. Oh yeah, it looks like, uh, I don't know, looks a little bit like me. Um, I think if we didn't put supports on, my smile would be there. Sort of like a silhouette version of me. Let's see if we can get that off from there. It's kind of interesting how it added my hands though. Hands are pretty good. Um, yeah, I think we could, you know, could use a little bit of work. Um, as you can see, I don't think the glasses needed supports, but it does look like me. I mean, like, I think I might print another version and um, definitely don't need support on the glasses. I'll fix that, but from far away, as you can see, it looks like me. Close up, it does. And these a little work with the image, and that's why they give you a couple to work with. Um, but, oh yeah, look at that. You know, definitely no, I, I think, I think we get away with printing this without support. It's got my cool coat on with the collars. So that's pretty good with the details. Look at that. Yeah, and look at the hair, got my curls. So that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna try printing this again without the glasses, but share your solution, share your um, 3D version of you without the packaging, without that um, AI version of what I thought was real, but not. So if you want the real thing, now you know what to do. Uh, in case you forgot, right? So we'll just run it through one more time. Make sure you have, um, in this particular case, I don't think it will need supports. The collar is printed and everything. So forget the supports or try the supports. Um, and again, back to the beginning, ask ChatGTP um, to turn yourself into a action figure.
right? It will turn you into an action figure. You take that photo, right? And you bring that photo into here, into Meshi.ai. And inside Meshi AI, you click right here, upload, and then you say image to 3D, because that's what we're going to do, image to 3D. And then once it generates this, which looks really cool, I like these glasses. I think the one version of me with legs looks pretty good. I'm going to print that one and share that with you guys on the live stream and then probably have them painted by next Saturday when you can watch us. And then once you have your version of you selected, you go right here. See right there where it says download? You download, you choose STL file, and then magic will happen and everything will work just right for you. And hopefully, hopefully you look good without supports. Wow, kind of neat, huh? Gotta love it. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope this video helped you. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.